So, 23 years ago, it was uh, kind of whimsically, a couple of guys that I played college golf with at Texas A&M and I uh, found out about a, a sheriff that was selling a dive business, and uh, he retrieved golf balls through that business. We took a look at it and said, ah, oh, we know a lot of golf pros. We'll, uh, jump in and uh, try this out. It turned out there are a lot more balls in the lakes than we, uh, than we realized would be there. How many uh, can your sort of average guy get in a day? So an average diver might get uh, three, four, five thousand golf balls in a day. Appreciate so it's uh, pretty good work if you're willing to jump in there with, uh, with some of those creatures. What's sort of the process of cleaning, refinishing? So we uh, once we get the golf balls into our facility, wash them, whiten them to the greatest extent possible, and then sort them out. It is. Uh, we now use vision technology to do uh, about 50 percent of our sortation. So we've automated that process pretty uh, pretty nicely, and. Uh, and some of the balls aren't of top quality. We'll, we'll take uh, the, the better balls, like the Pro V1s, and actually uh, put them through a refinishing process. And that refinishing process is such that you strip the paint, repaint the ball, uh, stamp the brand back on the ball, clear coat it, and uh, also stamp refinished on the ball so the consumer knows that it's been refinished. But it brings the ball back to like new condition. The materials for refinishing, are they sort of your own creation? Do you license them from another company? Or? Um, we, we do use uh, third-party uh, golf ball manufacturers to do that refinishing work for us. So they're using basically all the, uh, you know, the paints and the clear coating and whatnot that are used on new golf balls. Price per ball, like compared to new, sort of the savings aspect. Right. That's where we uh, show the consumer a great value proposition, and so uh, a golf ball that might be $50 a dozen new, uh, in the top quality, either recycled or refinished, it's gonna range in the 20 to $25 range. So basically, you can buy brand names for half price through, uh, through our business. And uh, we retail those at uh, lostgolfballs.com and knetgolf.com. How many, uh, I guess, uh, different brands do you come across? I know there's a lot that people haven't even heard about. What do you do with some of the ones that you don't know about or those that aren't so well known uh, generally we sell in assortments um, and so we sell on the wholesale side of our business to everyone from uh, mass merchants like Walmart to uh, sporting goods retailers like Academy and Sports Authority and so you'll find a lot of assorted bulk packages and so all those kind of odds and ends might go into those packages and uh, what do you do with all like the, the cracked, unusable stuff? You know, interestingly, the there's, tires. there's virtually no waste anymore. So now that these balls are two and three piece and so durable, um, and we may throw away a few hundred golf balls a year and that's about it. They really are cracked and that damage that they're unsaleable. Otherwise, everything else is saleable these days. All the stuff you sell through, uh, I see, Reload? Yeah. Is that, uh, is that a, like a, that's of the same Reload, associate. Reload is our wholesale brand, and so that's the brand that you'll find in the stores. Reload Recycled Golf Balls, and then uh, we're branded as LostGolfBalls.com, like I said, and KNETGolf.com uh, on our consumer sites. Yeah. PG Professional Golf is the uh, overall brand, uh, the overall name of the company. You might find it uh, interesting to know that uh, we started this company 23 years ago. Uh, it was a fledgling operation. Today we've got, uh, we'll recycle and sell 43 million golf balls uh, in 2015 and obviously hope to sell more than that this year. But uh, we've sold well over a half a billion golf balls now as, uh, as a company.